Welcome to the Biotech Whisperer channel focused on microlearning and science. Quick! Aerobic respiration is a cellular process that produces energy in the form of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, by breaking down glucose molecules with the use of oxygen. This process occurs in the cells of most living organisms, including humans and animals, as well as plants and fungi. The process of aerobic respiration is divided into three main stages, glycolysis, the Krebs cycle, and the electron transport chain. Let's take a closer look at each of these stages. Glycolysis Glycolysis is the first stage of aerobic respiration and occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell. During this stage, glucose molecules are broken down into two pyruvate molecules, releasing energy in the form of ATP. Glycolysis does not require oxygen, and it is also an essential process for anaerobic respiration. Krebs cycle The Krebs cycle is the second stage of aerobic respiration and occurs in the mitochondria of the cell. During this stage, the pyruvate molecules produced during glycolysis are further broken down into carbon dioxide, releasing energy in the form of ATP and reducing agents like NADH and FADH2. These reducing agents are used in the electron transport chain to produce more ATP. Electron transport chain The electron transport chain is the final stage of aerobic respiration and occurs in the mitochondria of the cell. During this stage, the reducing agents NADH and FADH2 produced in the Krebs cycle donate electrons to a series of protein complexes in the mitochondrial membrane. As the electrons are passed down the chain, energy is released and used to produce ATP. At the end of the chain, the electrons are combined with oxygen to form water. Overall, aerobic respiration is a highly efficient process that produces a large amount of ATP from a single glucose molecule. It is essential for the survival of most living organisms and plays a vital role in various biological processes, including muscle contraction, cellular respiration, and the maintenance of body temperature. However, it is important to note that excessive aerobic respiration can lead to the production of harmful reactive oxygen species, ROS, which can damage cells and lead to various diseases, 